Hi everybody, Mr. E from Art with Mr. E. And today we are gonna be drawing my favorite animal. Do you know what that animal is? It's a turtle. Now, usually when we start thinking about turtles, our mind kind of jumps to the land turtle that has a very domed shell and can retract back into its shell. This would be more like an eastern box turtle. It's an awesome turtle, and I do love that turtle an awful lot. But that's not what we're going to do today. Today, we're going to be making a sea turtle. Now, just like people, sea turtles come in all kinds of different shapes, sizes, colors, and names. <laughs> the turtle that we're going to be drawing today is called a loggerhead turtle. Now the loggerhead turtle is one of the largest sea turtles that have a hard shell. There are turtles that are bigger, but they are soft shell turtles. This is the largest hard shell turtle. And I think I read somewhere that they can be up to 250 pounds. That's pretty big. Now, if you're gonna be drawing a turtle like this, I like to have my paper going vertically. I'm gonna be drawing the back of his head, his shell, the flippers and the tail, all right? So I want my paper to go long ways. It just makes more sense to me. Now I'm gonna start by drawing the loggerhead's shell. Do you know the shape of a loggerhead shell? If you said oval, you're close, but that's not quite right. A lot of turtle shells are very ovally but not the loggerhead. The loggerhead shell is more like a heart. Did you know that? Now I'm going to make a second heart inside the bigger one. Now the reason I do this is because turtles have a ridge around the outside of their shell that's made up of smaller plates. The plates are the section of a turtle shell. I'm just putting little lines here to separate out that outer layer. Now right now this is very smooth and there are sea turtles, loggerheads that look like that, but some loggerheads have more of a ridge. So after I draw this, I can go back and add just a little bit of a point to my loggerhead shell. You don't want to make it too crazy and make it really sharp and pointy. <laughs> He's not a thorn, thorn bush. There's just a little bit of an edge on the shell. All right? And in the center here, I've, I've looked at several pictures, and turtles are all different. They're the sections and segments of their shell, they're not all exactly the same. What I like to do, though, is to start in the center. I'm going to draw two parallel lines. Parallel lines are lines that look like they will never meet up, kind of like a train track. They're side by side, but they do not come together to a point. Then I'm going to go down into a point, almost like a letter V. See that? And then we go up here and do an upside down letter V. All right. Then I'm going to go up again.
Now these don't have to be perfect, okay? And if this causes you trouble, don't get stressed out. It's okay. The loggerhead will not mind if you don't get it exactly right, okay? Just try your best. See, mine's not perfect. It's A-OK. -okay. Just do your best work, okay? And then one of the things I love about turtle shells is they are so beautiful and unique and interesting. I'm gonna put a design on the plates of my turtle shell. Now, is this exactly what a turtle shell looks like? No, not exactly. But this is art, and we can change things up a little bit, right? Wow, look at that. Isn't that neat? Once again, this shouldn't be something that stresses you out. Just create a design that you like inside your turtle shell. All right? And I am sure it will be wonderfully awesome. And who knows, there might be a turtle out there that looks just like your turtle. Okay, my turtle shell is done. Now, the loggerhead's neck comes out. And then we have his head come out like this. Now we are seeing the back of his head, okay? We're not seeing his mouth because this is the top of his head. So I'm gonna put his eyes here, I'm gonna put his little nostrils here, and then I'm gonna come out for his flippers. They almost look like wings. If you've ever watched a video of a turtle, a sea turtle swimming, it, they almost remind me of like a bird. Now their back legs are a little bit different than their front legs. All right. Now they can have these kind of almost giraffe-like spots on them. They're a be very beautiful turtle. And you might want to pull up a picture or look at a book so you can see a loggerhead turtle as you're creating yours. Oops. Now, if you want to paint this, you can paint this. If you want to color it, maybe you want to use crayons or color pencils or marker. Another fun trick is if you're using marker, you can come back, as long as it's a water-based marker like Crayola markers, you can come back with a wet paintbrush and spread your color out just like paint. I think my turtle is pretty cool. I'm gonna name him Larry the Loggerhead. What's your turtle gonna be named? All right guys, time to go, but I hope you had fun creating your loggerhead turtle with me. Have a great day, bye-bye now.